Audio Jungle. Welcome to our web development course. In this lecture, we're going to look at how websites work and how web languages are related to each other on the server side. Remember in the previous lecture we looked at on the client side. Now in this lecture we are going to look at the server side. So let's begin. We have two types of websites. The first type of website is called static website. A static website is the one whose content does not change and this is how it works. For example, the client will request a certain web page from the server and the server will connect with a client computer but on the server these websites are saved in a file or these web pages are just files like the web files you have them in computer they don't change their specific files they're already there so according to the request that the user has sent or according to the page that the user want to see the server will select a page that you, the user needs to see from these multiple pages and send to the client the page that he needs to see and the client will receive that page and view that page and that's all and that's a static website nothing will change it's just all about selecting a, a page or a script that the user need to see and this and send it to him nothing changes For whatever user uses this website nothing will change they will all access the same script those are what we call static websites we proceed with the dynamic website. Dynamic website is the one whose script will usually change as per request. Each request that you get from the user, the script will always be changed. Not like the static website, where we saw that all kind of users access the same script. For the dynamic case, it is different. Every user they will access different script according to what they need now to make a dynamic website you need the following things in space first you need a scripting language a language that will be generating those websites I mean the, those web pages and you need a database a database is where this scripting language will be getting information to generate a web page to send to the user and this is how it works. A user will send a request, then will also attach his ID. So we need to see a certain profile of a certain person. You'll need to specify the ID. As you have seen, the ID has come, and this ID is received by the scripting language. Then the scripting language will communicate to the database, and the database will send the information that is related to this ID. In other words, the database is used to save the records only. And then, after the scripting language has got the information regarding this ID from the database, it will then do what? It will then make a script that the user needs. That's why we call it scripting language. It will now process what is the name of this ID that is saved in this database, that is received from the database to put the name for example to put the age and the city then the script is ready to send to the user and we shall send the script to the user according to the ID that is sent to us and everything will be dynamic it's like Facebook when someone logs in Facebook he gets his own information I mean someone logs in a different account he gets also their different information also emails everyone has his own email and they get different information regarding to their username and passwords. Those are called dynamic websites. They change according to user. But I'd like you to know, I would like you to observe this. The request has nothing to do with the database. Only the request comes direct to the scripting language. It's the scripting language that will request the database to provide information according to the ID that request has sent but this does not have any connection with a direct connection with the database so i hope you understand now what is meant by the dynamic website in this course 
we shall use PHP as our scripting language. The reason why I use PHP because it is famous and simple to learn and it is fast to to, to each comp it is fast on each computer. So that's why we shall use PHP. But as we proceed, we shall also look through other languages, we shall learn also other languages if time allows. Then the user or you the learner will be able to choose your own language that you need to be using for script but in this course we shall begin with the PHP as our scripting language then the database we shall use my SQL database because it is very simpler or it is simple to use PHP with my SQL database compared with other database and it is so friendly I hope you'll enjoy this course in the next video we are going to learn the following setting up a web development environment and the f making our first web page I hope you will not miss in the next lecture let us meet there and make our very first web page so thank you for watching and don't, sub don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel like and share this video see you in the next lecture